Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. Since a couple of days, System76 have released a tech preview of Pop OS for the Raspberry Pi 4. So when you go to popsystem76.com, you can click on download, and then you can see you can download version 22.04 for the Raspberry Pi 4, but it is a tech preview. So I install it on a micro SD card. I booted the Raspberry Pi 4 from the micro SD card. So when we go have a look, it's kernel 5.15 for the Raspberry Pi. And it seems it was compiled June 24th. It's the 64-bit version. So that all looks okay. Well, as you can see, it does boot. And one of the things I would recommend doing is when you installed it on a micro SD card, and in my case, it's a 128 gigabytes micro SD card. So just go to disks and then you can change or resize the partition. Um, so I already resized the partition to occupy the whole micro SD card. So now it's only 7.4% full. And probably in your case, uh, this second partition, partition two is probably a lot smaller. So just click on it, click on additional partition options and there you can resize it and i just dragged it all the way to the right maximum size so yeah in my case i already did it so i don't have to change anything here but uh, otherwise you might run out of disk space even though your micro sd card is much larger so I would recommend doing that. So I thought like, um, let's start a browser. Um, yeah, when I first booted, um, I also received a lot of updates. So I also saw an, that um, operating system a lot of the components were updated and there's also Firefox. So of course, when you want to browse the web, Firefox can be a good option. So, but when you click on open, nothing happens. So when you start it from the command line, it will tell you that Firefox Snap needs to be installed. And at least it does show you how to install it. So let's try that. And it wants to know the password. So here we go. Now oh, that goes pretty quick. So let's see what happens now. And yeah, I also installed a simple screen recorder, as you can see here. So I'm actually recording directly on the Raspberry Pi 4 itself. 
and I also connected it to the HDMI import of my Micotronics R58X. But um, in that case, it will go uh, into a 4K screen, and that is perhaps a bit much for a Raspberry Pi 4. Um, perhaps when we get proper GPU and VPU drivers on mainline Linux, then I think it sh should be possible to have a, a decent experience with a 4K screen. But I guess at the moment it's probably better just to stick with a more traditional full HD 1080p screen. Okay, so meanwhile, it was still busy installing Firefox. And hopefully we're almost there. So yes, it's it's just a tech preview and I think the current state that it is in, I can imagine that system 76 hasn't really announced that they released it. Um, but I guess when you know your way around with Linux, then you can try to play around with it and perhaps uh, you can help uh, with bug reports, those kind of things. Uh, so don't download it uh, when you want to have a good experience, when you expect that everything just works out of the box. That's uh, definitely not the case. Perhaps uh, Firefox is just uh, a bad example and that the other things are in a better shape, who knows. But um, yeah, I would say uh, since Firefox is uh, a browser that is used a lot, I yeah would have expected that they um, yeah would have released it with uh, a working copy of Firefox. So. Now it says it's installed, so let's see if this does anything. Not really, but now we do have the Firefox icon here. So when we click it, meanwhile I can might as well close this. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, well. Does look like it's working. So. Oops, it's not very smooth because Perhaps when it's still loading, then because, for instance, like this window, this one is it's not smooth, but it's OK. And uh, you can also snap it like this. So when we do that with the Firefox window, now it's fully loaded. Yeah, that's. It's not very pretty. I mean, it, 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 it does work and you can snap it. So that also works. Uh, but um, it's not very responsive. <laughs> hello, hello, yeah. Okay, so let's make it full screen. Yeah, I think that's one of the problems uh, with the Raspberry Pi that the GPU and VPU, they're not very well supported. And I 
Yeah, I'm really hoping that the Raspberry Pi Foundation, that they can put some more pressure on Broadcom to help out with the graphics drivers, because um, I'm pretty sure that the Raspberry Pi 4 can do much, much better than this, but when you don't have access to the GPU and VPU hardware, then everything has to be done by the CPU, and then, yeah, it really slows down. So, I guess, for the moment, only people that know their way around with Linux and are willing to help out System76 with uh, debugging and testing Pop OS for the Raspberry Pi 4, that they can install the new Tech Preview 22.04. Uh, but yeah, when you want to have a smooth experience, I think it's better to wait. So that's all for now. And I hope to see you again in my next video.